the penny between your tush and pinch. Oh, the tush now. Yeah. Well, the tush seems to drop more yeah. rapidly now than the side. Yeah. So we're well, working on the tush. I have to bend over now to put the, the penny in. <laughs> I mean, you've really got into a field now where everybody has yeah, got it. Yeah. Do you uh, have one? No, no. Well, are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> no, they beg me not to. Uh, <laughs> what What is different about yours? Well, as far as I can tell, the, the videos that I have watched, um, I think mine is different because it really, it really gives women uh, of all ages, it's really geared for 40 and over, but it teaches them how to do a good makeup, a, a good simple basic makeup in a short time inexpensively. It teaches them a few exercises that they can do without putting on a leotard. You can do uh -huh. it with your clothes on. Right. Okay, sitting here talking to you, I'm doing one right now and you oh, don't even know it. Tell us. I'm holding my stomach in very tightly. See how she has to sit up straight when she yes, does that? Yes, all right. And she's not doing that? John, yes. I have to talk to you. Yeah. Well, so anyway. <laughs> great. Be proud. I, yes, and I also do, which I think is the most important thing on the video for myself, because I think the thing that is the most aging in all of our lives, whether you're a man, a woman, a child, anything, is stress. Stress gives you lines, it gives you bad posture, it gives you stomach aches. So I do about a five-minute stress reduction on the tape as well. Which is what, just shut your eyes and block out the world? No. What do you do? People always say to me, you shouldn't have so much stress in your life. Everybody, I don't care what the business is, Everybody, the plumber is going, oh God, I mean, it's not just our business. It's not just our business, and there are a lot of people out there, I, I think especially women, young mothers, grandmothers, working women, who don't take five minutes a day for themselves. And that's all it takes, five minutes where you can go, I teach you step by step how to take yourself into a really deep um, mental, emotional, physical relaxation wherein you can give yourself some positive suggestions, ideas to change your life, and... Uh, Drop and him, marry rich. <laughs> Leave him, marry rich. <laughs> that, that's a positive Very good. Yeah. You're in your second marriage. And did, were people shocked? I thought you were Mrs. Brady. I'm sure that line is blurred yes. your whole life. Yes. That, and you are so wild and funny and zingy. No, she's so different in real life. Yeah. Was it a curse or a blessing? All your life they thought you were so goody, 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 you know. I think it's been, uh, it's been a little bit of both. It's been a double-edged sword. Uh, certainly I'm proud to have been a part of, of something that is American television history, oh. the Brady Bunch. But you know, Joan, it, it's, uh, you're a wonderful actress, but people always want you to be funny and, and just do the same thing. And we get into that trap. So I fight it. I go out and I do nightclubs and I, I myself, I tell funny, racy stories. Right. And I, come on your show and, and do crazy things. I just try to be myself, and I can't worry uh, so much about being put into a, you know, a little slot. I'm not going to stay there. They can't keep me down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, could you tell us a racy story? About what? Uh, well, I don't know. Two farmers and a nun? I don't know. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I have, uh, I have many. Well, actually, this one's not, uh, not too racy, but there were these two cannibals. <laughs> <laughs> have you heard this? No. And <laughs> I can't believe Mrs. Brady's going to do a dirty job. <laughs> well, they're sitting there, and they're by the fire, and the pot boiling away, and they're stirring away, and the one cannibal says, you know, I always did hate my mother-in-law. And the other one said, well, I'll just eat the noodles. <laughs> When you were bringing, and your kids are wonderful, I met your daughter. Barbara, I talked to her last night. So too. dear, your daughter, just adorable and so helpful. When you were bringing them up and you were having real problems, yes. did you ever say, this wouldn't happen in the Brady family, or how would Mrs. Brady handle this? Yeah. Well, yeah, my kids would say, why are you yelling at us? You never yell on television at those <laughs> kids. Um, it, it was kind of tough, and, and because my kids were, you know, similar ages, uh, my youngest was about two when we started the Brady Bunch, and I think sometimes they had great difficulty because in going to school, you know how kids can be. Their peers uh, sometimes were mean. Uh, one time, little Lizzie, I remember, we lived across the street from Central Park. I lived in New York for many, many years and commuted. And all these 
little kids ran up. And, oh, Mrs. Brady signed this, blah, blah, blah. And I felt kind of badly for Lizzie, and she looked up and she said, Mommy, tell them we're your real kids. Oh. So things yeah. like that, you know, uh, you have to deal with, you know, yeah. being and in the public kids, eye. Your kids have come out great. What about, you were doing the Brady Bunch when there was so much dope and drugs and everything else, yeah. and a book is now coming out by Greg, who said that, the, that he was smoking dope on the set. Were you aware that these things were happening? Because I went through the 60s and the 70s thinking, well, what are they all happy about? I mean, I, I, I'm so stupid, so not stupid. My daughter Barbara always says, everybody's gay, but nobody's happy. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is a great line. Uh, I, I was always very close to Barry Williams, and I think uh, he started the show when he was about 13. You know, adolescence yeah. is very tough. I knew that he was doing certain things. If I had known that he was smoking pot, I would have jerked it out of his mouth yeah. and sat him down and said, if I ever catch you doing that again. You know, I was tough on the Brady kids. I was tough on my kids. I think you have to let them know how you feel, how you stand on, on well, issues. Well, be I firm. Thank you for coming on. And be firm with your body also. Right.